Hello everybody, today in front of me I have Google Pixel 5a and in this video I would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to begin with I'm going to demonstrate you can set up the fingerprint unlock method on it. So first of all, uh, launch settings, then enter the security category, onwards go for the pixel imprint option over here, then choose what uh, screen lock method you would like to have as your backup. Uh, I'll go with pattern, draw, not this one, then I will draw the pattern that I would like to use, then redraw it to confirm. After that, we will be able to start enrolling the fingerprint. Finally, the scanner on this phone is located uh, on the back panel of it, right below the well, back camera or main camera. So si simply lay and lift your finger onto the sensor until the entire surface of your fingerprint will be scanned. As you can see, the fingerprint was successfully edited. Now I can start using it to unlock the screen. So let me lock it first. Here I have my screen locked. And the moment I lay my finger onto the scanner, it gets unlocked like so. Works just fine. The next option for today uh, can be found at the display category of settings. So let's quickly enter it. It is called the uh, nightlight and once active it uh, tends our screen number or to put it in simpler words, uh, makes the color, uh, the interface colors warmer, thus reducing the eye fatigue through filtering out the excess amounts of blue light. As you can see at the uh, nightlight page we can adjust and modify the effect intensity, make it very warm or a bit more on a cool side. You can also set some custom automatic schedule for this mode to be activated and deactivated respectively. Moving onwards, uh, the next configuration for this video can be found at the system category of settings, then go for gestures, in here system navigation, and basically the Android system provides you with two types of system navigation. Um, well, until this point in video I've been using the gestures type, but you can also set it to be three digital buttons and this little main, uh, well, this three digital buttons obviously appear at the bottom of your screen, which you can, which can be further used uh, for the system navigation purposes. I am more the gestures uh, type myself, so I'll set it back to gestures, but if you are into this like older version of system navigation or the old, older kind of system navigation, you can always set it to be three digital buttons. The next option is a well, fairly small one. You can find it, if I'm not mistaken, at the battery category. And, oh, yep, here it is. So basically, uh, as you can see right now, the status bar does not show how much power I have left in particular in percents. It only shows me a very, uh, well, presumable amount of battery left through using the visual indicator, like this little battery icon over here, so I can kind of somewhat say whether I have more than half of my battery available or less than half, but if I would like to know precisely the amount of power I have currently, just turn on the battery percentage toggle over here, as you can see now the battery percentage will be successfully displayed over here. So from now on I'll know exactly how much battery health or battery life I have left. Already, so um, at this point we have been, uh, well, we have been at four tips. Now the fifth and final one, uh, you can found at system category of settings. It is called rules. It's a very useful option that allows you to set up some certain scenarios for the occasions if you are uh, at some certain set location or if you have connected your phone to certain Wi-Fi or defined the Wi-Fi network. So let's add some rule and well, better understand the feature. First of all, uh, add the scenario, uh, or not first of all, like that's all about it in the scenario, but first part of scenario is to add the condition. Um, so either a Wi-Fi network or location, I'll go with Wi-Fi network. Uh, let me quickly connect to the second or add some second Wi-Fi network from the list. So I'll have a choice. 
Let's say I'll go with this one. Now I have two networks saved. So from here, I'll get back to my rule at the Wi-Fi network that uh, it should trigger once connected to. Um, then what I would like for the system to do while well, this condition is met. So let's say I'll, uh, I will just set phone to silent. So it's very useful uh, feature in occasions once, let's say you want your phone to go uh, to ring the moment you connect to your home Wi-Fi network. So let's say you've been at school or at university or at work and at those places you have to keep your phone on uh, vibrate or even silent mode. So you would like to automate those uh, well, fact, and you can either automate it through setting the location as the condition for it to be automatically uh, set to ring or silent respectively, or Wi-Fi, or once your device connects to work slash home Wi-Fi, it's just whatever fits your needs best at this point. So without further ado, let's finally add this rule. As you can see, the rule has been successfully added. Now I will reconnect my phone to the uh, defined Wi-Fi network and see whether it will work or not. Yep, as you can see, my phone has been set to silent and I've also gotten this little rules notifications to confirm already. So that will be not only for the last option, but for this video in general. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your attention and bye-bye.